Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago and I am a Rod and Staff Union. How are you today? How did you like that full moon? So uh, a lot of people were feeling it days before it was actually full and maybe a day after. That's what I like to call the backwash time. <laughs> That's when the waters recede and you see you kind of feel a little bit like you're floating and stuff. So uh, I want to let you know we are still in these retrograde energies, okay? And as I said a couple of videos back, you're going to get a sense of sort of, you know, like when someone drives a car and they are annoying you because they keep driving like, and you're like, what's going on? Why can't they just either hit the accelerator or stop the car? And you're saying, I'm a little bit tired of this red light, green light, red light, green light kind of thing that's going on. But I'm here to talk to you about what is going on and also the topic of this, which is strength. Now, this isn't just any strength. This isn't even the kind of strength that people use for a marathon. Okay? Although many times this journey does get compared to a marathon. Now, are you on a twin flame journey? Because this may be very new to you. If you are, welcome. You found some of the right place here to get some answers. And you may not have been able to piece it together. I have had the pleasure of meeting several people lately who find that when they look back at their life, that they've realized that there have been things that are happening with them that are letting them know they're actually on a twin flame journey. Some of the things you know is when your health starts having some issues, a lot of ways that you know are you meet someone or you dream someone. Now for some people they've already met someone and you know they've known that person a while. Other people are coming into this. And so if you are, I'd like to, you know, take some of the mystery out of this, let you know that you are on track. And there are things to know about what is going on. So first of all, when I say we're in a retrograde energy, this particular retrograde, this is a Mercury retrograde within a Uranus retrograde. And that means that there's an awful lot of masculine, not males or men, but masculine energy that's shifting, moving, and transforming. But it sometimes looks really weird at the human level. And not only that, it is transformative. So there tends to be things that get dwelled upon that the mind might want to overly focus on or latch on to. And this really isn't the time to stay latched on to anything, even when you wonder about it. So things are on the move, but it's sort of that under the sea kind of movement sometimes. We can't le really see what's at the surface, but you feel things. And a lot of people are feeling a lot. And in fact, we're heading here to... Um, another portal that people are talking about, the 1212. What's the 1212? Well, that's going to be another energy time, quite frankly, to just get stuff done. Okay, for people that are on the journey, it's going to be one thing for you than it is for the rest of the population who is unawakened. In fact, some people may not even know about it. Some people who are close to their union will actually find that they go through some things days ahead of time and that's a good sign for you. That is actually a very good sign. Even though it's not always fun to go through things. The solstice that is coming up here, December 21st, the uh, longest night of the year in the northern hemisphere and the longest uh, day in the southern hemisphere so it's summer and it'll be officially winter here but as you can tell by how I'm dressed, it's already winter here in Chicago. It's cold. Baby, it's cold outside. So um, this alignment is particularly for creativity. Your creativity, your health, and your well-being. Now the other things that are happening, 
you are transcending the logical mind. Transcendence. Transcendence is a word that means rising above or blowing through certain levels. And some of you need to do that. Okay, you need to do it for several reasons. This is also, when I say strength, this is the inner fortitude. That means staying put, that means staying steadfast. That means being someone that is reliable. That means being someone who's not going to like run at the first sign of trouble. And I'm not talking about earth trouble, like not running from a fire, not running from a wild animal. I'm talking about not running from each other. For staying put, and this is, goes beyond perseverance and that marathon of endurance. Okay, a lot of you have already been working on your endurance. Now it's time to put it where it counts. And that means persistence, consistency, reliability. Are you there? Do you have the inner fortitude? And it has to be with your twin flame. It cannot be just with this people or just that group or just, it has to be first and foremost, you and your twin flame. Some of you cannot feel your twin and you're wondering why. But you are letting go of your cosmic 5D matrix and that has quite a bit going on with it uh, that also has a lot to do with health well-being past lives connections to planets where on your body those connections are where you and your twin have been where things have gone awry all kinds of stuff so I have another word for you here with this energy Retrograve. Okay, there's two words here. Retrograve and, as you can see, self. Okay. This very much pertains to the logical mind. And this is air energy. This is also cutting energy. This is both cutting each other down, words, miscommunications, wrong things said at the wrong time, writing things down, posting things publicly, doing things that you wouldn't do, and people are telling on each other. You're starting to see it publicly now. And then, you know, there's that thing. I talked probably about eight months ago about sexual predation being one of the energies coming out and now you're seeing it with some of this stuff about harassment and the younger generation is very aware of this the older generation has been you know saying oh, that's how it is if you want to play the game you play the game and both genders get this young get it old get it everyone's gotten some of it in some life that's what's forgotten is it's not just this life. It's been cosmic level sometimes also. And along with this, what are, what are the new things? What are the new go-to things? What do you do? When do people not understand that, oh, I was just playing or I was just ridiculing you or I was just cutting you down or I was just exposing you or making you do something that I want? Because there's stuff that's forced and there's stuff that's coerced and there's stuff you don't want sometimes. And nobody's here to tolerate this anymore. So transcending the logical mind in that sense means that the logical mind says things like, you know, I have the kind of job where it just goes with the territory. I'm expected to tolerate a certain amount of harassment, abuse, and it just, I want a paycheck. I need to go with that. But you're transcending that logical 3D mind and the ego that he has found ways to compromise and tolerate, okay? And it is not just one-sided, it's both-sided. I'll give you an example. Let's say someone has a child and that child is born in a marriage that is not a love marriage and the mom resents the other parent the father for getting her pregnant and doing these things and expecting her to do this and that what does she do she can't take it out on the adult she takes it out on the child and there are things that people do to each other and sometimes 
people cannot defend themselves. And these are particularly other things that are coming up of what I would call family and children. Now, if you have children or there will be children as a, being near your union, these are some things that are going to come up for you. These are additional things that you'll have that maybe other single people won't. Although single people, if you are planning a family, there will be things that come up for you. You will have to fix relationships with your family. How do you do this? How do you do it? Well, this is some of what I cover in my webinars, particularly my live one. Also in Expansion of Love, Erasing the Past. How do you get rid of the past where people have been abused, tormented, um, they have been uh, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, or all of the above. How do you erase that past? How do you get rid of it if it's been a re in a released recent relationship or relation shift? Because that happens too. Some people are veered; they shift on you. You don't know where you stand. Some of you feel like that's your twin. Who's your twin been in a relationship? Are they trying out all those things on you? And you're scratching your head saying, who is this that I'm connected to? Well, guess what? It's your mess to clean up because it's either been you or your twin in some life. Not this life, probably another life. Or you've been subjected to it and it becomes learned behavior. So if you have um, the other one that I'm having... You can join me online. So when I talk in these videos, I'm really only talking for about 20 minutes. But I have the straight stuff in my webinars where I go through it in detail for about an hour and a half. It is teaching. It is learning. Uh, the topic is your psyche, your cosmic connections. And I'm having that December 14th. That's a Thursday at 8 a.m. That's the afternoon in Europe or the evening I believe in um, Africa it's going to be um, early morning on the West Coast or during the day in the United States or Saturday December 16th which is at 11 a.m. Central Time so that's 11 Chicago time smack in the middle of the day in Europe that's your Saturday evening so if you don't have plans this would be a good way to find out more about your union and what to do and I walk you through it I get you back to feeling if you can't feel some people are saying very recently that they can't feel their twin they think their twins gone away now let me tell you something else about the logical mind there are people out there that don't have the reasons and the answers for you and they're deceiving them own, their own selves by saying things like Hey, this isn't for every twin. Hey, there isn't, uh, you might as well turn around and go home. That's actually not even logical. Why would you get this far, meet each other, only to be dropped on your butt? You're not crazy about the things you first feel. What is happening is we now have a part of this retrograde energy that is the retrograde this means burying and getting rid of stuff for good forever and yes it is important to focus on yourself what else does it have to do well I have an example for you it's from my own personal life and this involves one of the neighbors and this was right next to me and this person had two dogs and the dogs themselves were lovely dogs. I like dogs. like petting them and stuff like that. I mean, I they were very, very sweet dogs. However, there was no boundaries. There was no fence or anything. So he would let his dogs out, and they would do what dogs do in my yard. And it got so upsetting because the kids would play. The kids, you know, you didn't want kids to step in something, drag it into the house. And this went on for a little bit, and I stewed about it, and I was doing a slow burn. I really was. 
And this guy was, he was um, what other people would probably call a nice guy because he was like that on the surface, except he baited his woman, he withheld her medication, he allowed the neighbors to call the police when she would have an episode, and they have since moved, but I saw him one day, and he had that gleam in his eye of like, heh, 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 I've got the feminine now. And I was like, I can't believe you, guy. I mean, this is just unreal. You better not hurt her. And his daughters didn't even like this because they would come out and say, what are you doing to her? So anyways, I don't want to, I didn't really want to fight this guy, but he was not really, uh, he thought he was nice, but he was very manipulative. So I said to a friend of mine, I said, this guy is training his dogs to go do their business on my grass instead of his. And my friend said, no, he's not. I said, are you kidding me? I have the evidence in my yard. And now this was where my mind was still needing to transcend a level here. And all my friend had to say to me was, they're just being dogs. And that gobsmacked me. And I said, oh my goodness, you're right. They're just being dogs. So I went out the next day and I bought some chicken wire, which wasn't high. It was just high enough to keep them on their side and keep my yard clear. And problem solved without an argument, without, yes, did I go to a little expense? Yes, but it was well worth it for the peace of mind and my well-being. Okay, I could sleep at night. I didn't have to hear them because some of us know how we are. We hear things, our senses are on high alert, and boom. Now, this was several years ago, okay? But these are some of the very day-in, day-out things. A lot of people are perfectly capable, being the angelic who puts on the cape, goes on a rescue mission, goes out to help things, goes to volunteer, do this, do that. But when it comes to your day-in and day-out stuff, you get lost in it, okay? or it grates on you, or you don't know what to do because maybe the guidance isn't coming of what is your next step. So if that's you, come and join because we want to expand the love. We want to erase the past. I have a very good exercise that we're going to do in here and a meditation. And also from the one I did October 26, it is very pertinent for now. If you have trouble sleeping, if you're having trouble with some of the time management and the physical sensations of this um, part that we're in of the retro grave and you're helping yourself, okay? The other things that get put to, uh, get buried forever, the things about yourself, where is your self-esteem? How have you been getting a reflection of self from others. So if you can't feel your twin and you're isolated, there's a reason for it, okay? Staying put does actually mean getting to know self, okay? Bringing your own self-esteem up, knowing who you are, getting rid of the things that have been either patterns or taught to you, okay? Or... We have a couple people here to help with this. And you may find that sometimes people would love that their man comes along and drags them by the hair, except you really won't like that. You know, bring you home. Let's just find the best person for this. And you sometimes find that the twin has actually been transcending some of this. And some things won't make sense between you two at times. That's because there's more to your communication than just your voice and words. Okay? But these are opportunities for what I call getting to know you. Getting to know all about you. Now, he sees some things in her he doesn't like. And he's actually liked other people. And she sees some things in him that she really likes, but then there's this other stuff she doesn't like. And 
she sometimes looks at other people and she says, well, I like 10% of that person and 20% of that person. And, well, that one's just hunky. So, yeah, uh, well, you're a little bit, your thighs are kind of skinny. And he says, I'm a good runner. And, well, you know, you're, I don't know. And in their minds, they've got some stuff going, okay? And yet, their hearts are pulling them together. But they're not, you're not fitting together here. You're not fitting together here. You have to fit together with the heart. And sometimes this takes on really strange proportions in this kind of energy. Now, you might have other things that are going on with you. Okay? One likes to stay put, one likes to travel. He's always on the road. He always has those jobs and he's always going away from me. And she's taking it very personally instead of, wow, I am so blessed to have this job. I feel so free when I'm on the road. Little does she know that some of that might actually be helpful for them in the future. And you have some misunderstandings going on. Another thing with this energy, this has to do with money, okay? The subject of money is going to be one that has to, has to, has to be transcended in order for your union to go forward. And a lot of people would like to say, hey, we don't need money. Well, for some of you, you can't take a bushel of potatoes and go down to the cell phone store and go pay your bill with a bushel of potatoes. You actually need money. And this is a very delicate balance uh, that people are also not really quite sure about. And yes, there are ties to children about it. There are ties to family about it. There are mind things that the mind does, sometimes involving credit or no credit or... Um, bills, how you are, are you a procrastinator? There's all kinds of stuff there. So if you want to find a level of healing that takes you very swiftly through this, because there, there's things you can do on this journey. There's the long, drawn-out way, or this is a quick and easy way. Okay? You have parts to you that are gearing up here to help you, to help you live with each other and live together very harmoniously because you love each other because you're here to make love twin flames are the ones on this planet and in every part of the universe who have the ability to make the third energy and you can't do that with a soulmate so if you've been told off by your twin if you've gotten the big kiss off if you've been told off they want you to back off you don't stop, but yes, you leave them alone if you can't, if they can't feel you, if you can't feel them. You find out how to work on it. You find out with my teaching, I'm here to teach about this. I am also a Blu-ray, so yes, there is a lot of information and help and light codes. I am a conscious key holder of every single planet. I have already gone through that and I am a prototyper of the light body template. So if this is new to you, you might not know what that means. But what that means is there's a gift happening here for you. There's a reason you were born on this planet. There's a reason you met someone or why you have a, the strongest sense in you from the time of being a child that you're here to be in love. And the reason is love and the reason is twin flame the answer to everything is actually twin flame why is this twin flame why is that how can i heal what about the mind twin flame twin flame twin flame what about my creativity twin flame so i hope to see some of you here we are coming into the end of the year 2018 is going to be very different than 2017 was I still want to encourage everyone, not just perseverance, but persistence. The strength 
that sometimes you see in animals to keep going and going and going, even when they want to drop, until they get to their nest, until they get to that home. Barring any really mortal wound, they do it. And you have that same ability. Okay, please don't do an about face. Please trust what your heart and your eyes have shown you to begin with. And that you're here to be in love. Please do self a favor because you together are one self. Even though there's two bodies, there is one self. And there are reasons, and I explain in here about some of the changes with the light body. Your twin flame body is actually brand new. It's brand new. I have diagrams, but most importantly, I get you back to feeling the love feeling your twin and thank you to everyone who has joined thank you to everyone who has gotten my webinars if you've gotten a webinar and if you have this one time to dig it out and if you have participated in this one please go back and review the things that I showed you in there it's very important till the end of the year okay this will make things easy for you and thank you so much for watching Thank you to everyone who subscribed. My website is www.twinflamesmerge.com. The links are down below, the links to join. If you'd like to join and you know, you're not sure, you're not finding it, check out my website or email me. It's twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. Okay? Also, if you like these updates, please subscribe because I do teach in my videos. You could go back to 2014 for three years. I've been bringing you along and telling you what's going on. Some people like to know it sort of like a weather report. Some people are drawn to planets and astrology. But you see, that's where the answer is twin flame because however you're drawn, it still is intended to bring you home to your twin flame. So let me just, you know, I'm going to just write this word here. Um, I'm going to write it out here. Strength. How do you say this in other languages? Fort, fuerza, forza, forte. However you say it. The strength, the fortitude, the perseverance, the ability to stick to something. There it is. Strength. Okay? Remember that patience is not a test of your love. Patience is necessary. This is your twin's retrograde. There's going to be some stuff you might feel called to do. If you're not sure, ask me for a session. Ask me to help you. Reach out. Find my calendar. There is no waiting list. There never is a waiting list because I get to people right away. And not only that, I make recommendations. Um, I recently have had some people where some of the information that came through was about checking their heart, checking some of their blood chemistry. And that is some of the information that I get. I have started by doing some of this through body work. And I still do body work. I do one-on-one -on -one personal sessions to work with you. And there's a difference to know. Twin flame. There's two of you. I'm a person that feels both of your energies. And I don't, it's not the mind. So if there's people that are saying to you, hey, uh, it feels like your twin, you know, they're happy in this situation. And you're sort of feeling, oh, I'm not so sure they're happy. I'm not sure what they are. Reach out, come join, come find out, okay? Because you're not crazy and neither are you stupid. You are someone who knows, feels, senses, and is transcending a level here. So thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful week and weekend. Bye.